In this movie, we'll look at a helpful feature of the browser, which is the ability to quickly search and filter for a specific component or group of components you wish to work with. On the screen, you can see the engine assembly I've selected for this exercise, and the only reason for that is the sheer number of parts. There's not a lot, but there's enough that you are required to scroll through the browser to see everything. Let's go ahead and use the browser search to turn off a few screws. If we rotate to the back of this model and zoom in a bit, you'll see that there's a cover on the back of the model that's held in place by four hexagon socket head cap screws. Let's use the search field to find those and turn the visibility off. The search can be found at the top of the browser. Here you can see the magnifying glass icon and clicking it will enable the search field. All you have to do now is enter HEX and you'll see that the browser is updated to include every component that includes that set of characters. We got all of our hexagon socket head cap screws and we also got a hex jam nut that we have holding the propeller on. Because the browser and the graphics window are linked, we can easily scroll our cursor up and down this list to see information or geometry highlight in the graphics window. We can use this to quickly locate our screws so that we can hold shift on the keyboard and select all four of those screws at once, then right click to select visibility to take action on all of them at once. You can see we now have removed those screws and when we're ready to return to working on the assembly, all we have to do is clear the search field. You can do this by clicking the X in the search field to clear it, and then hit the X again to remove the field. We're now looking at the assembly the way we were previously, with the exception of we now have four additional screws that have been turned off.